Okay, I'll talk to you. Yeah. I want to talk to Money so we can rebuild our friendship because her friendship means a lot to me. It's like she has a wall up. I just feel like I'm losing my best friend. I mean, I feel like we're not best friends. I never know which way you coming from, so that's why I have to stay my distance because I ain't trying to get in trouble. I ain't trying to get hurt. But if you're not keeping it real, it's hard to be there. OK, with the whole Pastor Troy situation, he was, like, leading me on. I'm thinking we're together, but we're not. I just slept with this man and became pregnant, and I was ashamed. That's the main reason why I didn't come to you. I had to get myself together. When somebody's your friend, you don't have to be the, together to talk to them. A person has to accept you for who they are. But it's like you shut down on us, and you don't tell us the whole truth. We got to be able to trust each other. We got to know the full story so we'll know what we're defending. I take responsibility for my action, but I was doing it on account of you, and your mom was doing it on account of you, too. If she was honest with her mom, then her mama wouldn't have turned up on Juicy. Stop lying, stop being fake, and stop manipulating people. I understand that the trust is not here and the trust is going to take a minute, but I am trying. And I just told you why. It's like, I try to. But I love you. It kills me that we're not talking. I'm like, where do I go from here? Do your best on fixing this stuff. That's all I'm going to tell you. Fix it. What were you used to talking about at the beach the other day? It looked good that you all were together, talking. What's wrong, Minnie? I know that I have to build trust with you guys because of everyone thinking that I was lying. But I love you guys, and y'all my girls. Like, this weekend, I really enjoyed all of us together. Laughing, cutting up, talking about ding-dings, everything. <laughs> it's just like, I needed that. And I laughed, like, for the first time, I laughed. I really Feels needed good. that. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you ladies enjoyed yourself tonight. How do you think your boyfriends are going to act when they find out about our time at the strip club? I'm enjoying, I'm having fun. Like, whatever happens in Myrtle Beach stays in Myrtle Beach. Let me enjoy. If you love me, let me enjoy. Like, why do you, why, why do you want to know? You know, I don't need to explain to anyone. Why y'all being so defensive? I'm just trying to have a good time. Well, I'm trying to have a good time, too. You no, and you're just, and you're... Okay, but you keep asking questions. I'm just trying to get to know everybody. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you it seems like you were always talking to me. I was just, like asking everybody as a group, like, how do you think that's something? But it seems like you're always coming to me. Because you didn't even answer the well, question. Well, I don't have to answer no damn question. I don't get in your personal I don't ask you So don't ask me because you ain't going to get a mother response. OK? Anything else you want to know? No, I guess not. OK, then. I guess not. OK, then stop talking to me. You know what? I can't take this. Bitches, I can't take this because you can't handle too much drama for me. Oh my God, yeah. I need a drink. So what happened? Tell me everything that happened. Oh my God, Andrea. Girl. Oh my God, I was like not even having a good time. I was just so stressed out, Andrea. I was thinking about you in the hospital. I was thinking about so much, so much was on my mind. I was fine, I was fine. I didn't have a good time. Bree's friend Melissa was there too. She was like she didn't even fit in the group because you know how we're so wild and she just like kind of like that good girl thinking that she's better than everyone. Yeah, and that's when what's wrong? They were talking about twerking and whatever. So that's when are you having contractions? Yeah. You having contractions? Yeah. Like every like ten ten minutes. Every ten minutes. Yeah. Chris. <sighs> what? You having contractions? I ain't even freaking out right now. I'm not trying to have Aubrey at 28 weeks. The doctor said the next time that it happens for her to call. Honey, let me call him. I was 34 weeks pregnant when I had Andre, and he had a lot of complications. Dr. Ehrlich. Yeah, hey, Dr. Ehrlich, this is Andrea Salinas. Yes, I'm calling to tell you that I'm having contractions. 
How often are you having them? Uh, at first they were 10 minutes apart, now they're 4 to 5 minutes apart. You may have to go back over to the hospital. All right. It's way too early for this. Our breathing to stay in there. Andre, he has a lot of breathing issues, and it breaks my heart. All I want is Aubrey to be healthy because I'm not trying to go through this again. Is that the way here on the left? Yeah, it's in there. This is freaking me out. Your stomach's still hard. Hey. Hi. You're a trouble man. <sighs> How are you feeling? Feeling bad. Okay, we're gonna get you on the monitor first, and then we'll do the ultrasound. Okay. <laughs> That's when they start. It's our last night. Okay. I don't know whether you can see this. These squiggles are the baby's heart. Now, what we're really interested in is in the pressure. See if you're having contractions and how often. Yeah, you're having contractions. So, yeah, that's significant. Now, the big thing that'll tell us what's going on is when you have the ultrasound. Something's happening. I'm going to check and see if they're getting ready for the ultrasound. Ah, <sighs> moment. We're going to take a look at the cervix. It's just going to be a little cold just for a minute, OK? okay. I just need to see how long the cervix is. OK. Ow. I'm sorry. Relax if you can. That's the worst of it, OK? OK. Cold and gooey. You contracting again? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. But she's like trying to push it way out. Baby heartbeat. Does it sound good? Like the regular? Um. Uh oh. What is it? Um. Okay, Tasha, can you get me the wheelchair and we'll get her up? Ugh, she's so sleepy. Hey, Dr. Early. Her cervix is like a runway. That's a sign that you're going into labor. Having contractions, and because you've had a C-section, we always worry about the risk of rupture. So I'm not really comfortable about letting you go home. I just hope you love the thing. I can't do it again. 